Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And the last time I was playing Freelancer, I, I drove this here, this blood dragon of mine, to the uh, to the Tau 31 system. I took you along with me, and I just flew around Tau 31. I described it, and you know why it's one of my favorite systems, and talked about a bunch of things, and. Interesting side note, when you hit F5 in Freelancer, I guess it blocks it from going to other programs. It just kind of takes over the whole thing. So, yeah, none of that was recorded. None of that <laughs> happened as far as anyone can ever see again. So, uh, here we are again. I let some time pass so that I would have fresh thoughts on it. Here's Tau 31. And if we look at just the information around Planet Harris... The armored transport of the humpback. I like the humpback. It's it's a it, it doesn't steer well at all, but it, it, it's heavily armed and it looks cool, you know. And I'm getting a text. Okay, let me see. What's the text? Dude. Oh, it's a text from slutset.com. Yeah, let's see. Report spam. And block that. Okay, there you go. That's... Bizarre. And you can see what equipment we have for sale here. And they give you the story of every little world. I love I love that about this game. And you read it. You know, it's it's just got reading involved. It's cool. Previously a barren world. Harris is, is the object of one of the first large scale terraforming terraforming. Yeah. And you get to read. You get to read stuff. Previously a barren world. Harris was the object of one of the first large scale terraforming efforts by Plant Form Inc. Blah 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 blah. So it gives you the setup here. You've got a plant that's being plant formed, and you've got the Gaians, who are you know basically environmental terrorists, are uh, are attacking. So if you try to take missions from here, you'll be shooting at the Gaians. Uh, this is a neutral rep ship, so I'm not going to be doing any of that. But it is neat that they they built this thing so that you can see where they're trying to create an atmosphere here, literally. Not just create an atmosphere, but, you know, so and it has kind of a Tatooine kind of look to it, but they're, they're just pumping out gases so that people can breathe. You go to the bar. You can see your ship there. And you have... Boy, something I can help you with? What do you have for me? I don't know you. First time here? Check. Well, man, I work for Planet Form Incorporated. We run this base. As it turns out, I do need someone for a mission. All right. What's the situation? Kind of a low-paying mission. Yeah, I'm not going after the outcasts for right now. Sorry, no deal. Later, Trent. Yeah, I've got my neutral ship out here. You can get your your rep fixed if you want. These are the more normal things. That's the other guy in ships. So I guess it, they, they've added some higher paying stuff. But I mean, if you want the really high paying stuff, there's other systems to go into. I play this so infrequently, I feel like I have to explain it every time I hop in. You know? It's like, hey, look, this is Microsoft Freelancer. It's a really old game. This is 20 years old this year, I believe. But it holds up very well. Hit a button and look behind you and see what's going on. 
as the AI shoot the heck out of each other. That usually means he can't. So I think in the last one when I was trying to do stuff, I did. Go to. I did uh, go to the valley, and, and I think I took the weapons on that. I think I still have them here. Or do I? Or do I mount them up? Ah, oh, yeah, there. I, the guy is saver, saviors. I mounted them just to make sure they were safe. A couple class six lasers. Still have my missiles, so I'm gonna have to just as a collector. Dump those off to another ship, but that means I'll have to get to whatever ship I happen to have. All my just regular, you know, weapons for storage. You have a weapon storage ship usually in your account. That's what people did back in the day. Let's take this out of turret mode. And we can scan the Valiant. And you can see there's there's Gaia Savers on here. We, but you can't get more than one set. Like if I were to hit this, then it would just be lost to whoever came to it next. So we're not going to do that. But we can go take a look at it. You can only, on each individual ship, you can only get one set of weapons from these things. You can't, you know farm them forever and ever. So usually the best thing to do is if you don't need them, leave them there so you can come back and get them whenever you want them. But at the time when I thought I was making a video, I showed you how that worked. Well, if I do that with another another ship at some point. Here you can see what you get from a countermeasure dropper. The two Gaia Saviors type Bs. Now, if I die, I can lose the, the stuff that's loose in my hold, and other people could take it. This, the missiles and the, the countermeasure dropper. But whatever's mounted, you keep. So the rare stuff I have mounted just to keep it safe. Let us cut thrusters and just take a look at it. Yeah, it looks like... Um, Maybe a falcon. I don't know. Is it a hawk? I think it's a hawk. It's in the eagle family here. The hawk, falcon, and eagle. So we came up through the Edinburgh jump hole. What would be what would be a valuable thing for me to do here? You find some some central point, maybe in Kepler. You should be able to get a cut across. Hey, don't fall asleep on me. Out here you'll get us killed. So that we can move another ship up. Yeah, let's let's shoot for Kepler. Tau twenty nine should be if we go back to the the world map, this one. Yeah, so let's go back to uh, let's make our way to twenty nine. Go to. They shouldn't be too far drive to bring my my store ship up to Kepler. Drop those guns off. As opposed to taking this one all the way back to California. I had it set up as a store ship where you could buy the uh, the Advanced Liberty Heavy Fighter. What the hell do they call it? I don't even remember. I have one. 
because the thought was, you know, back in the day when I was still trying to build the base clan, that, you know, people could buy them there and then we could arm them up, but... I still prefer the Eagle to anything, so... The other ships like this are, are a nice change of pace, though. You know? I mean, the Blood Dragon is a great PvP ship. It's small... You know, you can mount it up with a bunch of anti-shield guns and then pop people with missiles, and that's what we used to do with this in System Battles. It was a nice alternate path to uh, to getting things done. Yeah, it looks cool. Especially here in the ice field. I love the system. I love the way it looks. Just this entire ice cloud with all the chunks. And it and an atmosphere completely different than you normally see in space, like rainbows. Let's see who is Outcast. See, again, I don't have. The only rep I'm negative with is the nomads, and that's kind of normal. Everything else is neutraled out. Total time just on this ship is 80 hours. See, all these are zeros because this was a system battle ship. This is PvP. And the last thing you wanted in a system battle was for the AI to come after you, so... You keep a neutral rep. I mean, in theory, I'm, I'm, this is a public lobby. There's only the public lobby. We have the amazing rodent in New York. But it's not like he can just zip over to me and, you know, unless he changes ships and then shoot at me. And not a lot of people hanging out in the, the towers anyway. If you want PvP, usually it was New York and Omicron Gamma. For the way to go. It could happen other places. I mean, there's no, you know, a lot of battles up in Alpha. <laughs> the APF still does not exist, and that means all those times I've seen them have been, of course, hallucinations. Freeport 6, that's not a bad place to, uh, to go. You got anything on this map? No. There's clearly something there. And so we'll have more to explore here. We'll have to explore Tower 29 with this ship. Freelancer's a fascinating game because it's it's like you know, back in the day it was just, you know, completely fraught with terror and Dog. people coming after you and having to keep your your head on a swivel, Understood. but... Your request to dock is granted. Proceed to dock four. And now you can kind of just cruise around, and it's a peaceful universe. You can actually explore a mostly peaceful universe. I don't know. I haven't tried it, like, on a Friday night or a Saturday night. To see if there's still some nights when it gets hot. That's going to be a thing. Let's see, it should be only the uh, the wings that have clipped. Yep. They make it, it, used to, it just has big wings that hang off the side, but it does uh, make you a bigger target. Now let's select character. The Defender Elite in California. Now this one we really do have to watch. Anybody comes on, we're going to swap characters. We're not going to... 
you risk this ship. Roughly there. And even though it's not really been explored, it will give you the, the general gist of it. California Miner. I think that's one of the that's one of the uh, the custom things, isn't it? I don't know. It's been so long. I don't know how much has been added by the mod and how much has been was original to the game. California Miner might be a, a planet. I don't even know. Yeah, that's okay. That's a platform base. All right, let's let's land on this just to get it in the. Just to just to get it inside. The map. It's another it's another similar base to Harris where they're trying to make something out of it. And they're consistent. There it is. You can see the plant forming towers. Actually, this might be the exact same base, <laughs> just with slightly different colors. Yep, for the most part. But now we have that base in our map. We're not going to make a, a point to you know, map all of the California system right here. We're just going to take this up, pick up those other guns. But for the major stuff, you know, stuff that we pass along the way. Plant Mojave. I don't know if Mojave is the one you can land on. It would make sense that if it's a desert plant that, we just, that they haven't done anything with yet. So we can already, from the scanner, pick up oh, any appreciable resources. It's so you don't. Yeah, there's no dropping ring. You just you just wave at it as you go past. Mm, this is taking us through New York. That might not be a good plan. I mean, amazing road it is there. Okay, let's let's go on the, the map here. What part of We're gonna go past, past Manhattan. That's not a good plan. That's not a good plan at all. Okay, change of venue here. We're going to find another place to set this thing down. Reach. 
And we'll, we'll do that later. We'll change that up later. I'll take this through New York. Meantime, we'll get something else. Yeah, I'm not going to try and do PvP with this. And let me explain to you why. All of this, these stealth blade turrets, reapers, jades. The jades are anything with a capital letters like that. That's something, they're rare items. You can only get through looting stuff once. All these sun slayers that are real expensive. The blue blaze is a rare one. Thunderbolts, Tizonas. Yeah, I'll, I don't want to lose any of this. There's a lot of effort here. So I'll take this to Los Angeles. Which will at least give you a different look at the your a planet. Land. They're not all the same. Objective I mean, it certainly it's not like I can't hold my own in a PvP with this thing. It's well armed, but I don't want to risk anything. <laughs> the graphics of 20 years ago. Enough to feed your imagination. Just enough. Let's go back to Tower 29 for the time being. Or, the CSV in Bering here at Freeport 2. What's on that? Nothing. So this is, this is a worthy transport. Freeport 2. And this is this might be my eventual goal for that other ship, for that Defender Elite, bring everything to Freeport 2. Freeport 2 canonically was the home base for a base. This was our main thing, especially going back to the Australian server we started on. Uh, on this uh on this uh one it, it is a uh it is I think reserved to the uh, the admins. And the CSV, this is another another ship that is pertinent only to the uh, the flu mod, the Freelancer Universe mod that this server runs. But I could take this and go up, and then bring those weapons back, and then later on, bring that ship from California over to Bering. Alternately, I mean, you know, a system that we could own would be one in Texas. I should really go back and look at the map and see if anybody owns any systems anymore. Are there still system battles? Are there still... Trade lanes disrupted. Yeah, I don't have anything of interest, so yeah. we're just going to jump to the... You can you can actually you can actually disrupt the uh, trade lanes yourself for catch people coming out and attack them and stuff. It's really nicely integrated. But Texas and New York, we've you know bases held both of those. We generally held systems. You know, we held New York for a while, Texas. 
Back in the old days, you could only hold three. It was a limit. So we used yeah. to hold... And they had to be connected. So we at one point had New York, Texas, and uh, and Bering, I think, were our, our top three. Well, the wins to get New York were tough. But oh, such good memories. Val for Texas. Objective. Then for a while, when we came to flu, we worked uh, the Bretonian regions. We're forever fighting for Hamburg with the, the Freelancers United, or the FU clan. It was good times. Trade lane disrupted. And again, I got a neutral ship. No one's gonna come after me. I'm engaging rogue slack one. I've got no cargo. That's all they want. And once the once the uh, the energy levels come back up on the trade lane, you can reconnect. I hope our cargo hold full of oxygen fetches a good price. I would love to have. Uh, a system battle here in Texas again. In a situation where I could actually record it. You know, back in the day, I had fraps. I didn't have, I didn't even know, I don't know if OBS existed or if I just didn't know about it. But there's no in-game voice chat built into this like it is in so many other games today. So we used to use TeamSpeak. And there's... Using Fraps and TeamSpeak, whenever you would talk, it would just unbelievable amount of static would come across everything and ruin everything. So I, you, it made it so it was unplayable if you used both. So I never did record any system battles. I think Flag did once. There's a, a video of him getting shot to bits. God rest him. Maybe. I don't know if he's alive or not. I bring this up periodically. There was an email. You can take a look at a different bar, I guess. For Where he said he'd killed himself, but, you know, it's... Then, like, years later, I sent out... Because he sent me an email, I sent him an email, he sent him sent me an email back to saying that, well, this is his dad and he's killed himself. And we were all distraught and destroyed. For a long time. I was just, you know, we were all, took a while to get over that. But then, like, years later, I sent out a group email to, to the base people and I immediately got an email back saying, don't yeah. use this email anymore. I'm thinking... I don't know much about the grief process for your son, but I'm almost positive I wouldn't be checking his emails a couple years later. That wouldn't make any sense. Objective. So it, it seems more likely that somehow he just got pissed off with all of us and did a virtual suicide and God only knows what's happened to him since. Or did he really kill himself? I don't know. I thought he was getting stuff back together pretty well at the time. Oh, every freelancer video is, is a nostalgia trip. Yeah, I should, I should get the, uh, what was the name of the base out here? There's a Junker base in the North Dallas Debris Field that was kind of key to our RP. You know, the Junkers and the Zoners. Base plays as, like, a neutral role. We weren't criminals, we weren't cops. We didn't care what anybody did. We kind of just wanted to be friends with everybody and to know what was going on. It was almost, you know... 
We wanted to be in with the in crowd, whoever that was. Stop. Somewhere I have to get I have to get this loaded back up on the Basin System Services website, which is now combined with I just have one website now for everything. And it's not very well built up, but everything got hacked a while back, and so now I switched everything over to one Squarespace page. Objective. But I haven't had a chance to work on it much. I need to work on that. I might I might actually take a little bit of break from gaming all the time here and being completely absorbed by the uh, the GTA e economic FOMO. Where every week, oh, this week we're doing this. No, I'm not. Like this week it is like money and a half on hangar cell missions. No, I'm good. Thanks. There you go. I do want to play some other games. I'm, I'm getting burned out on the GTA. I'll probably still do races, but that's... I think I'm getting a break from everything else. I've got 160 million. I don't have to worry about doing much. But this I miss. You might say, well, you're just, you're just flying around. Reminiscent about the old days. Well, yeah. There's something nice about that. I'm showing you, I mean, here you got all these things you can land on. You can land on the battleship up here and on the space station. Do we go past, um, no, we're going to bypass Manhattan. I might be taking us to a jump hole. And there's something else back here. Trade lane disrupted. Not as anything. Mapping everything out. Just getting everything in your map. Let's take it out of the turret. Gonna aim back at this. Should we try to speed dock this one? Forget which side we're going in. I don't know if you can see like some green lights or something top. like that, but okay, the top. Sorry, green on the top, red on the bottom. <coughs> yeah, they don't want you typing bad words in. Guys, yeah, see, there's the lights. Maybe they're shut down by the the disruption. We're gonna go straight on. To the Colorado jump gate. I have to figure out what's there at some point. Clearly something. Right now we're on a mission. I used to know all these maps like the back of my head. But it's been so long since I've played the game on a regular basis. And they've added stuff to it. They've updated the mod. I think there's entire systems I haven't been in yet. So it's, it's coming back as kind of fresh even though it's 20 years old. It's a it's a huge game that you could play forever. Uh, you know, let's ignore that. You can stay disrupted. We're not going anywhere. It's it's just end. It just ends. <laughs> That's the end of it. You know, I would love to get back to where I was, where I was playing this every Friday night. And Saturday night, and system battles. Playing during the week to try and get weapons for the recruits when we were getting you know, more people on. This is Navy Zeta 12, it's Freelancer Alpha 2-1. I'm scanning your cargo for contraband. 
Oh, but one of the things I was saying is I, what I have hey, to you're clean. what I have to get back up on the website is is that it was commonplace, especially on the the Australian server. I think I think we did it on the on the flu too, to have what they called neural nets because this is your neural net. Like this used to in in multiplayer, it just tells you what's currently going on. But that was an actual log of the entire single player video game. So we would write our own stories that would go in there, like our own tales of what's going on that would explain whatever our individual clans are doing in reference to everybody else in the game and the way we perceive things and the way and people come up with incredible stories and include each other in them and it was like really something that really kept the game alive it's amazing when you get a whole bunch of people who are interested in writing playing video games but uh, that, that's kind of where I did start writing fiction um but I still have a lot of the stuff I wrote from back in the old days telling the story of Ace. I have all of it saved for when I had to decommission the last website because it got hacked. But I haven't had a chance to really put everything back together and come up with a, a layout for... Because this will be a website for my own personal page for Shoot a Multimedia, which... It's kind of still a thing, but it's, it's it's morphing into a different thing because I'm not I'm not hosting websites anymore, and I'm not really even at this moment pursuing any new builds. I, I'm I've my my clientele I've I've set them all up on their own Squarespace. I'm like I have one more client left that we have to kind of get set up on something or other, but uh, we've got everybody pretty well set up. Objective. And Shoot and Multi Me is now just mostly the the YouTube channel. I kind of do local local event kind of stuff. Saint Ubaldo Day is right around the corner. That's a, a event I do every year. I'm boring. You pass muster. Everything's in order. And then, of course, Basin System Services, which is well, this stuff, the video games. Basin System Services is where the base comes from in the name. Oh, we don't have this. This one's untagged, but... When, when Fleggy and I took over base, it didn't really have... It wasn't Basin System Services. It was... The base clan was because the guy who founded it played bass. He's Baseman 2000, as I recall. And then he kind of abandoned and got bored with it, and it passed through a few hands. The last leader um, before Flag was Whiskey Sour, or just Whiskey for short. And then Flag took over for a while, and then when Flag got banned off the uh, the forums. Then I had you, you, I had to take over just so that I could organize stuff, and it's been that way since. All this from when I was first recruited. When I was first recruited, I said I really didn't want to be that involved. I didn't have the time, and I didn't. Go to. What are we doing here, gang? Where are we headed? There is a trade line here. Let's try that. Let's go do that and clear this. So let's go to Ames. And maybe that will be our, our pickup point. Yeah, it went from where I just wanted to hop on and maybe I'd get them some weapons. I'd, I would I would farm Gamma, because that was fun. Go and shoot the, shoot the Nomads. End up running the clan for years. Acknowledged. Please stand by. We're full at the moment. You will be cleared to proceed when it's free. Don't take that out of context. I wasn't running the clan. Not, not the clan. I mean, base. 
Clank was, it's, I guess it, it came out of Call of Duty, I think, that, that terminology, and for years it was just the expression you used for your gamer team. I think in the modern sense, crew has taken over as the expression, which is a better term. But, you know, I'm hearing the old game, you go back to the old terminology. The base crew. That's probably how I'll, I'll put it on the, the website. There is a base crew in GTA, but I think there's all five of us in it, and I'm the only one playing. But even if uh, even if I, I could pull it off, do I have the time? Let's look at the bar here. Similar to a lot of the star base bars. I don't know why they have these cliffs you can just fall down with no railing. Just, ah! Funk. Okay, let's switch back to the Blood Dragon and Tower 29. It's kind of neat because you can look around and you can see the other you know, the other systems around you in the distance sometimes. So we go here, we pop the main map. We have a goal. Set me a path. And we'll get some new stuff on the map. Forces, Sakura 9, it's Freelancer, Alpha 2-1. I'm scanning. Now you're not, huh? Looking at the galactic map, most of the activity that I was involved with as far as system battles were either here or here. Object. Didn't really do much down in Ryland or up in, you know, Kusari or anything like that. I should just hit every single base along the way, but we're not going to do that. We're going to try and see how fast we can get there. I'm not speed docking these either, so... That's where you're, you fly manually right up to the ring and then hit F3 and then it takes you through. Reached. And just out of sheer paranoia... Yes, it is. Uh, it is still recording. <laughs> I did a long video that last time and got none of it. I love how every one of the sections has its own flavor. Like the Gusari systems are all so pastel and genteel. If you want to actually live somewhere in the game, you'd want to live in Kasari. That's the impression you get. I don't know. Maybe it's a really repressive government. I, it, it's, but it looks pretty. And they have cool battleships. And this is... I'm in a Kusari-styled ship, so... I think the Nagumo is one of the places you can buy one of these, but I'm not sure. And we have to surf the rings, I think, don't you think? This is one of those beautiful things in the game. In my opinion. In my humble opinion, I am a Joe. Planet Asso. Ah, oh, so.
hit the main boosters here, hit the hit the cruise engines briefly. And we just surf the rings. Don't get too close to the plane, explode. But just a brief surf, just a quick dip. And we'll try and do a a, a proper speed dock on this, so I can. Show you what the, the main goal there is. We're at a bad angle for a speed dock, but dock. yeah, it's a bad angle. You can hit it so it's just bang, click, and you go. It's a good way of diagnosing your internet too. You see those those drop those uh, network icons dropping out. That's when your internet goes bleh. Like if I go, let's see, if I enter, slash ping. My ping is 60, so I, mean, I shouldn't be having anything with. Any kind of issues here. But I had been having some issues with you know some lost packets that I was working through with Pankro Jones. So maybe that's still doing stuff every once in a while. If it's if that's the only time it's happening, then I'm not doing too badly. And this shouldn't stress my internet at all. I mean, this was designed in the days of 56k modems, I think. Maybe I had DSL. It's a great game. I mean, you know, as far as the fun level and the, ex the ability to explore and enjoy everything. I'm not hung up on the graphics because, you know, my mind fills in the details. It does have a, an HD pack loaded on it. This version of it. Trade lane disrupted. But I highly recommend it. And again, if there was a time when you could get 16 people together and have an 8 on 8 uh, PvP war, that was good stuff. And it was people that you knew everybody. You know? You knew everyone. You're, you're conversing on the forums. You're, you're talking and chat and game all the time. Mostly were friends. There are some people who I found out. Dog. Here's a funny story for you. This will, for the kid past the time goes by. I got made an admin on the on the forums. So you have to be a forum admin. This is Kasari Police Fuji 18 bit Freelancer Alpha 2 1. I'm scanning your cargo bay for contraband. Good luck with that. Um. And this means you had to get involved in some of the arguments that would go on. People were swearing, hey, calm down. You can't be abusing everybody. I forget the guy's name. He was a, I think he was a Bob, who's a Band of Brothers guy. Could be wrong. Either that or who were their... Boy, it's so long ago. Who are their allies? Oh, it was a Dune-related thing. I forget. Anyway, it was one of those guys. And I had gotten in and, and taken the side side opposite of him, and he ripped into me and basically left the game. He sent me a message, and this never came back. Well, I replied to the message ten minutes after he sent it. And then years later, he came back and finally read my reply, and then he was ripping into me about it in another message, and I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. This is... And I mentioned it to one of the other guys he flew with. I said, I don't, know, I don't even know what he's mad about. I don't remember what this was about. And he said, yeah, well, that's okay. He, he never really liked you anyway, Black Knight. 
like, okay, well then. I have no hostility for. I don't even remember the guy's name. It's been too long. I'm sure if I went through maybe, well, I don't know, maybe I'll go through the old messages, I could find it, but what's the point? Do I still have the old messages? I have to get back on these forums. What's amazing to me is that Robocop runs these servers. I don't know his real name, but God bless him. He runs this server. He has kept it going for 20 years. I mean, and that's not a cheap thing. I mean, you need a static IP and all kinds of stuff going on and, and running a server that can handle all this. The power alone. Really amazing. And I mean, for as much effort as he put into it, I should play this game more. Just we all should just play this game more because it really is so good that it's here. Station, plant. We should stop at uh, Plant New Tokyo. We should have that on the map. Rapongi, as I recall, is somewhat important too. I think that's a place where you get. It's either a major buy point or sell point. When one of the base guys, Iikami, uh, in real life, he was in Tokyo during the during the tidal wave and all that that caused the Fukushima meltdown and the earthquakes and all that went on with that. And uh, we were very concerned about him because he was just in a, in a hotel room with the whole building shaking back and forth. And so everybody kind of took their ships and they parked them in orbit around New Tokyo. And if you stay here, the game will eventually kick you for idling. But not if you're in space. And so we just left our computers running with the ships in orbit, like, just waiting for them to come back. It was like, you know, we held a silent vigil. He did come back. He's doing good, as far as I know. I haven't, I haven't heard from him in a while. But we're... We're Facebook buddies, I think. Unless I have my check. One of the few people whose real names I know. They're, they're not There's talking no to me. You're getting this from me. Good. I prefer to take it by force anyway. Enemies open fire. Evading. Objective. Um, one thing about the mod is it really upgrades the guns on those large uh, transports because you can buy one. And it's really good. So that guy is toast. Uh, <laughs> So much history in this game. There's a few people I've kept track of. Man, I haven't talked to Mr. Bonkers in entirely in eternity. I have to, I have to, I have to get him on Steam and see how he's doing. Rambler, I haven't seen on Steam in a long time. Of course, you know, again, we're, we're worlds apart, so. He's in, he's all the way on Australia. So it would make sense that we might not run into each other. But there's him. Grisha, I get to see periodically on, on the Facebook. He's doing good. I see Princess periodically. She's doing good. Dog. I've got one of them on my tail. I wonder what ever happened to Phil. Phil wasn't base. He was the leader of the Fu clan. The Fu clan. One of the most talented guys playing the game. He really elevated it. He elevated it to a, a whole other level of complexity. You 
He was a funny guy. And his brother Baza was the the guy who inspired all of those anime painted cars. Where I put, I have to get a Baza plate on those. I'm assuming by this point that he's no longer interested in such things, but you never know. I mean, it's boy, he was like what, 16 back then? Now he's got to be pushing 40. Objective reached. When you've played a game for 20 years. When the heck did I get to be 51? You know, it doesn't... It, I don't feel 51. I'm still thinking I'm like 33, 34, but no, no, it's... Periodically, when I sleep the wrong way, my body reminds me I'm not 31. It's... You play a Reaper, so that tells you someone's hopped on. Magellan, that's an interesting. I have no idea who Reapers is or what his playstyle is. Back in the day, you used to know. <laughs> I wonder if the, I wonder if there's any bods still all around. Sensor efficiency reduced. What was the name of the one, the leader of bot? But he had like four or five of them. I'm trying to remember which one he used to use mostly. Doc. Man, do we have some? Cargo. You've got loot, and I want it now. I don't have anything. There's no way you're getting this from me. Have it your way. We had a lot of in-game animosity, and then eventually we got along good. It was, you know, eventually you surpassed the role in the game, and then it's just a bunch of people playing video games together. <laughs> ancient one must be truly ancient at this point. <laughs> he was, I think, my age back back then. He called himself Ancient One. Hopefully, he's still playing. Hope I run into him. He was he was good to talk to. But it's a twenty-year-old game. There's a lot of other stuff to do, so. Is Freelancer good for anything other than the nostalgia trips? Yeah, probably. But this is what I'm using it for now. Dog. Watch yourselves, boys. We're headed to the Shikoku system. Is it worth it to try to rebuild the base here when, you know, there are other games that we could set up Attention chop in space-wise? I don't know if there's one better for what we were doing then, which was trading and doing PvP. Star Citizen was the hope, but I think that's that's a lost hope. They they may get it to where it's working well. But it's not going to be this. It's not going to. It's not going to have the same feel. Too realistic. You could do too much. It's too. You know, it takes too much. Too much skill to pull off. So you're not going. It's going to be harder to get new people. You're going to have just really, really hardcore. And I'm not sure I'm hardcore enough for that. As far as flying the ships around. No, we've we've actually arrived. So let me show you how this works. I know I've done this before, but I, I post so infrequently freelancer stuff. Maybe that'll change. Maybe it won't. 
So we have to find out where we're at here. Where is the where's the base? There we go. Need to bug out. I can't take it. Got too much I was I did all that maneuvering just with the touch of the mouse. Now we'll cut engines, so we're fixed. And let's kill the waypoint here. There are all waypoints. Because this is where we want to be. And now we're going to select new character. The Defender Elite. Oh, no, no, not the Defender Elite. Select new character. The uh, CSV. You put it in roughly the same area. So it's pretty close. Switch back. Two. The Blood Dragon. Oh, you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to unmount them. Oh, yes, that's true. I forgot they're mounted. Acknowledged. Your request to dock is granted. We can't just drop weapons. We have to unmount these. And put our missiles back on. See, you get, you get to be where you're not doing this a lot and you forget the, everything you gotta do. You can't just drop weapons that are mounted. So we go here. Go to the mechanic. Take it off. Take it off. Mount the Lancer. Mount the cannon. So now I'm back to my stock configuration. No one around to bother. We can check that using, well, you know, we used to jokingly call the long range scanners, which is the chat window. There's someone in Magellan, someone in New York, in New York, New York. Nobody here. So here's here's what you do. You go up to your inventory, you select it, and then you hit the recycle bin to jettison cargo. Now you have to wait. You have to wait until your shield comes back up and your door is closed. Otherwise, you lose all this. It doesn't become persistent. And you have to do this as quickly as you can. Select new character. And then hit the beam button. And now, the weapons are here. And that's how you change between ships. Now we have to think what's the best way to do this. Where do we want to set up shop with this? Bearing. Texas is pretty close to all these things. And we have a path back. But we're going to end up going out here. Now, that other ship is still like floating in hyperspace over the over the uh, station, and that'll be there for as, as long as you want it. Interesting tip as far as store ships. What a lot of people would do is you're going to have more than I want to say it was a hundred weapons, but you're probably safer going with fifty because I don't remember exactly how at what point it just corrupts and then you lose everything. Um, if you had more than that, what you had to do is you had to leave the ship in space. You couldn't dock it at a, uh, a station, otherwise that's when it would corrupt. So a lot of people did just have these things parked in hyperspace. Or they knew where they were.
is through Colorado, back down through New York here again, which might be, again, a little bit of a risk. Maybe we want to take it to the edge of Colorado space and wait till there's nobody in New York. The edge of New York space. Doc. Yeah, because the Amazing Road is still in New York. Is there another way around to Texas? Boy, it'd be a long way around. You'd have to go all the way around through here. Yeah. I don't see a point to that. Trade lane disrupted. My goodness, I don't think you can land on that. Nope. So let us. Rather than going to the New York jump gate. Well, there's Pueblo Station. Bandit is taking damage. We could we could take Refuge at Pueblo Station until. Dog. Although, you know, it would be probably more fun to go here. Is there. I think we have, to, I think we have to go to Pueblo Station and then jump straight across to Planet Colorado. I mean, we could theoretically run past this. Oh, there is a, the battleship Rio Grande here. All right, that's fine. Objective Let's land on a battleship. That'll be a a nice, safe place to hang out. Understood. Your request to dock is granted. Proceed to dock one. Maybe we'll call it good. Maybe that'll be this will be a good way to uh, to end up. Our little trip down memory lane. Check the bar. And there's no character editing. Everybody was Trent. <laughs> A 20 year old game. Monument class. Instructed in 777-AS. He was in 792 campaign against the Xenos in the Hudson system. All right. And then we'll, we'll pick this up later on. I think this could be a new series at some point. And who knows? Maybe we'll figure out that there's more going on on the flu server than I realize. I'm just not on on the active times. And then we'll get back into it. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.